playing. Um, just good basketball right here. So if you were um, now if you were like you would have to play against something like this, you know, this ain't your kind of tempo game here. What would you do to kind of neutralize something like this? I, I'm, I'm curious because this is pretty fast. Well, I'd have to scout a little bit more. We, <laughs> uh, we'd run some junk defenses, of course. We'd probably we, we'd probably run a little triangle and two on South Charleston right now and try to slow the tempo down. We'd run through our sets real hard. We'd run through those triple screens real hard and and, and try to limit black uh, the Black Eagles, South Charleston, and um, shoot the ball. Same with Willie Park. We played them this summer in a summer league and got beat by two points by them, and we um, slowed the pace down. So that'd be our only way of having a chance to win. Okay. For future efforts, <laughs> hopefully, yeah. hopefully he don't hear that. Then if yeah. you guys ever have do play down there, Gosh, if we go trip away, I'm going to have to find me a new job. That'd be <laughs> tough, man. Oh yeah, that would your hands would be full. Madison's just not trip away town. Because you got don't a solid have that high population, does it, Coach? What's that now? You just don't have that high no, population. No, 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 no. Tell you what, though, you got a pretty good squad down there this year. Yeah. Double A. We're. Yeah. I know everyone's excited to see you guys play in the state tournament this year. Well, we gotta get there first. I hope. Well, I hope I we mean, get there. I'm at the sectionals as part of the state oh, yes. tournament. My fault. Yes. Oh, I would never jinx don't you. Don't jinx like us. That. Never do that to Come you, on, coach. Man. I like you too much. For that. <laughs> Thank you. I like you guys too. That's why I'm over here. <laughs> well, we appreciate your time. And down here, back into action, Ern Baines, no good. Comes, stays persistent with it and gets the put back to drop through. 25-13, Park able to get off that scoring drought and get back on the board. Odd Elmore had a notion at three instead, found a cutting number two, Richard Kincaid. But he hit back rim, no good on the floater. And here we go back the other way. Wheeling Park looking to get a run going themselves. Shot up, no good there by Bub Goodwin. Out of bounds. Last touch by the Black Eagles will stay with the Patriots of Wheeling Park. Man, Tony, Wheeling Park's getting looks at the basket. Just can't capitalize on them short shots. There's a little lid on top of that hoop right now. But, you know, we've talked about it today, John. This Civic Center, it's a little adjustment period. These are a diff- different style of court to play on. Three-pointer good there, though, by Bub Goodwin. That's his second trifecta. And a quick steal right back up. Without even me looking, Erm Baines getting a quick uh, turnover. 25-16. Park now down by nine. Emil Popich. Getting it back out to Goodwin. Nice pass. Nice pass. That was threading the needle. I believe it. Down to number 12, Vondell Bell, but he's going to be fouled. The thing I like about these teams, I- I'm big on watching off the ball. Movement and both these teams both have great off the ball movement. Um, I don't even know who's really scoring right now because I like watching away from the ball. And <laughs> pretty good stuff. You can tell a lot about a team, can't you, coach, when when they're not holding the basketball oh, about no the players. No doubt, John. No doubt. Marquez O'Neill with another putback. He's got eight. That's a big strong move. Yeah, he had a he had a pretty uh, pretty um, above average game down at Logan. The only other time we've seen these Willing Park Patriots, and that was just an unbelievable game. Paul Williamson with the and one as uh, to give him a one point victory there as the time about two seconds left on the clock when he got fouled. That place is going nuts. <laughs> I bet. Left hand baseline jump shot no good there by number twelve. Bondell Bell. It's going to be an over-the-back violation by Wheeling Park. It'll go to South Charleston. That'll be his uh, first personal, Bubby Goodwin. Team six, so we'll be in the bonus here the rest of the way of uh, South Charleston. That's Pierre Henry bringing the ball up the floor. Left hand badge managed up, but it ain't stopping him from going to his right. Ooh. Spin move turn uh, in the paint by Reese, no good. Bob Goodwin over to Boo Lathon, no good. Mm. Rebound's going to go to John Elmore. Elmore over in the corner to number four, A.J. Dillard, three-pointer, Drano. They're wearing this right side out on their transition. The South Charleston's got some shooters too now. I don't know how many threes that is, but they've hit a few. Maybe four. That's right on the money. Yep. And Marquez Neal getting another one. He has ten. 
the tempo just continues to increase as the game goes on, too. Both teams getting out running. Kind of offsets each other. Here we go back the other way, leading the way up the floor. Marquez O'Neill with a put back off the trail. It's good. He now has 12. 28-22. Next thing, all we, next thing you know, Willing Park's only down by six, a two-possession ball game. 3 pointer up, no good by Dillard. John Elmore with the offensive board. He's going to go baseline and have it tapped out of bounds by number 23, Boo Lathon. And the ball will stay with South Charleston entering the game for the Black Eagles. Richard Kincaid and number 23, Mo McKinney. And coming out will be Dillard and uh, Ott Elmore. John Elmore, the other Elmore, getting the inbound pass and getting it back out to number two, Kincaid. Right side, Reese. Kincaid open for three. Front, no, missed it all there. Rebound's going to go to Goodwin. Nice pass. Nice handles. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> nice handles in a pass. In You're right. That was contested the whole way up the floor, and he still found the wide open man cutting to the hoop. Henry getting his second personal foul now, so that's something South Charleston has to be very, very cautious of. They cannot let him get his third foul before the half. That's going to make for a long second half for Mr. Henry. And probably for Coach Herbert, too. Here we go. Good one. Over to Emil Poppet. She'll fire the three front rim. No good. Gets his own miss. Bub Goodwin, he'll take his crack at the three, and he connects. you got to box out the shooter. Absolutely. We work on that every day in practice. Yeah, and if you don't box out the shooter, your hind end's coming out of the game. you <laughs> got to box the shooter out. Drives you nuts as a coach. We're maybe running some stairs. I remember when you used to open up the hallways there. We still do year. that. Yeah. Not as much, I don't think. At least that's what Coach Cabell tells me, but we still get after it pretty He's good. He's probably just jealous that they'll they, that, they probably never do enough. <laughs> Henry with the finish and one. He's got 10. He'll go for 11. What, you, he's already signed with UNC Charlotte? Is yeah, he signed. Uh, the what week, conference is that? That is in. Is that oh, Atlantic 10? Or is that is maybe. I don't think it would be Southern. Is that in Davidson's conference? I have no you know, I bet they're in the Colonial with. Uh, like Old Dominion Might be. and George know. Mason and Virginia. If you asked me that about 15 years ago when I was a young buck, I knew where every college from every conference. But you caught me with a curveball there, Coach. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's all right. Put me on the spot. I like that. <laughs> a little pressure. Can't be blaming it on age, Coach. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm going to have to go home and Google that one. <laughs> I'm going to have to blackberry it up here yeah, at no halftime. Doubt. No doubt. Pierre Henry. Mm-hmm. Working on number 12, Vondell Bell. Vondell Bell trying the best he can to lock down Henry with looks like only one arm out there. But he's still proving to be effective as number two just absolutely loves that teardrop. Richard Kincaid. It ain't been working so far. They got numbers. That was a nice job of splitting all three defenders, but couldn't unfortunately couldn't connect. John Elmore are going to try to run it down, but not quick enough. Is Vondell Bell going to get it? Give it over to... Uh, number 33, Boo Lathon. He's going to go to the line to shoot two as he was fouled. Park's done a good job to cut this down to five and make both foul shots here down to three. I mean, they big strong down. second quarter out of Park. Man, no the first quarter was all Black Eagles. Just, what was it, 25 11 and a half quarter? Yes. Yeah. Like I said, I need to learn uh, Jebbia's style over there. He's calm, cool, and collective. Huh. I mean, I thought, I thought, I think you hold your composure well. Well, thanks. My wife doesn't think that. So maybe you could talk to her and talk her into saying that I, I'm a calm, cool, collective guy. <laughs> Whatever it takes, man. No doubt. Thirty twenty-seven. South Charleston's lead dwindled down to three under two minutes to go. And here we go, Richard Kincaid pushing the ball up the floor for South Charleston. The little man working his way around, trying to get it down low to Trevon Reese. And it goes out of bounds right back to Wheeling Park. So Wheeling Park actually has a chance to knock this one back up. 
Again, we're at the minute 49 mark, under, just under two minutes to go here before the first half comes to a conclusion. South Charleston, after blistering 25 points in the first quarter, has put up an epistemal five here in the second. And a tale of two quarters so far. And Wheeling Park continues just to build off this run that they've started up here. Earn Baines. But South Charleston switched their defense. A little matchup 2-3. Number 10 with the with the put up, and it's good. It's a good take. That's what you like to see. Put your head down go to the basket. Thirty twenty nine. Park lead at one. Shot up. No good there by 23. And here we go the other way by Wheeling Park. Nice stutter step. Yeah. What a nice move. Earn Baines keeping him off the toes. And now Wheeling Park's got the lead with under a minute to go. It was a real good explosion to the basket as well. And again, South Charles not able to connect. Pushing the ball up the floor. Number three gives it over to 23. Bub Goodwin. Earn Baines with the assist. It's like two, two different quarters. Yep. South Charleston dominated first, Willie Park second. It's funny how that works. That's <laughs> high school basketball. Well, that's basketball in general. 22-5. Wheeling Park has outscored Wheeling Park here in the second quarter. And they outscored uh, the exact opposite, 25-11 after the first. Number three is going to be at the wrong place at the wrong time. And we get the foul there. Earn Baines getting a personal. Basketball's a game of runs, isn't it, Coach? You better believe it. Yep. You better believe it. Just You can never, with the three-point line and everything, and, you know, you just cannot fall asleep. You think you're up, but double digits, next thing you know, you're down. Yep. Missed on the front end of the one that won to Kincaid. That's the last thing South Charleston wanted. They, they just want to get some points up on the board here. They're on a, a pretty extensive uh, scoring drought of their own. 7.8 seconds left, so expect the last shot here on this possession. 6 5. Tens three pointer up. Back rim, no good. Put wow. back is no good as well by Marquez O'Neill, but boy, did he come out of nowhere there with that one.